Welcome to the Advocacy and Outreach Special Interest Group. Today is January 27, 2022. Um, the agenda for today are CDCon, GSOC 2022, and Jenkins Online Meetup. So we'll start with CDCon. It is slated for se uh, June 7 to the 8th in Austin, Texas. The CFP is currently open, so we're encouraging all Jenkins um, um, experts to submit their stories. We want lots of stories there um, in, in, in Texas uh, at CDCon. The organizers of CDCon is inviting Jenkins to um, host a contributor summit on site. They have uh, made a physical space available for us to host this for all day, for one day. Um, I wanted to bring this up for discussion, whether we want to move forward with this, do this thing offline? Has there been other discussions elsewhere, like in perhaps the governance board? I think I saw the minutes. So, yeah. So, so Oleg, Oleg gave good guidance in the governance meeting based on his experience. I had suggested, well, should we do a hybrid where we do both remote and local? And he noted he's not yet had an, a positive experience with a hybrid event like that. Either do it all remote or all local. And, and I think he's, he's right, it makes sense. Uh, but I think, we should, I think we should strive for a contributor summit at that time and do it local. And then if we've, if we've got interest, also consider a remote hybrid or a remote contributor summit concurrent with it, or not concurrent, but in the same rough timeframe. So do one, for instance, in the Austin, Texas time zone and then a few days later, do one during European time zone or okay. do one during Europe plus Asia time zone like we did last time, where, where we get the benefit of being co-located for one session and then a relatively few days later, do another session. And there are certainly plenty of topics for something like that. Java 17, um, UI improvements, documentation improvements, uh, cloud native improvements, all sorts of things that we could and should discuss in a contributor summit. I like that idea. Actually, it we're 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 able to cover at least participation from different parts of the world. Um, yeah, love that idea. I, me too. Yeah. Now, now one of the dangers is we can't do them back to back because okay. I absolutely want to attend both. And I, I refuse to do a contributor summit that takes 24 hours of me being continuously awake. It won't work. Uh, it, it will not. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, so I would, I, I do think we should do one on site in, in Austin. I think it would be great. And I suspect we can find, for instance, Oleg suggested some people that we know in Austin who might be willing to help host it locally there, like Ryan mm -hmm. Campbell. So, so there are some, some candidates in Austin specifically who may be willing to assist us in making the event successfully local, successful locally. I'll clean up my notes after the meeting. No problem. Okay, anything else to add, Mark, to this before we move on? Um, Okay, so, so I will go back to CDCon um, organizers to let them know that, yes, we are interested in their offer. Thank you. Great. Okay, so GSOC 2022. Um, I will reach out to the previous year's mentors because we are still in need of additional mentors and project ideas. Um, ARC admins, we are making good progress with regards to updating the GSOC web pages. Still work in progress. There's still lots of pages. Um, and there's still more information that we're waiting for um, from the, the GSOC mothership. Um, so we'll, we will update as, as those information becomes available, continue to update. So it's a continuous um, work in progress. I, I, I send a ping mail on the dev list 
for other uh, project proposals and mentors, mentor volunteers and see if, if this brings something in our. Great, thank you, Jean-Marc. Um, let me see. And then as we saw, uh, CDF was able to create a Slack channel for us mentors. So thank you, CDF. Um, are there, do we need to ask them for additional channels or because this channel is for mentors discussions? Yeah, the, the watering hole, you're in mute, Mark. Yeah, I think we should ask for a channel for, that we can use for general communications because our past experiences using other facilities with GSOC students have been less successful. Now we could, we could maybe go to community, I guess, instead. Well, this is what I, I, I lent towards uh, in refactoring the documentation and saying that uh, uh, discourse where uh, mm. community was the main channel and the Gitter as a backup. Good, okay, or, that makes sense. Quick, I, I'll add that. There is what I described as the mentor mentors watering hole that would be the Slack uh, channel. And there is one still to go uh, is a communication facility for org admin. And there was a mention of a mailing list. I will see if I can uh, 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 retrieve that mailing list. Otherwise, I, I, I will create another one. Or uh, just because this is limited, there may be four people or, or, or so on, on it. So right. what do you think for that? So I'll, like that I'll, idea. I'll work on the, the admin mailing list. Otherwise, uh, uh, everything is set. I'm, I'm still one document to go for, for correcting the, the channels. But, uh, OK. So no on the general discussion in the CDF channel, because we're using um, Gitter. And then Jean-Marc will create a mailing list for org admins or update Correct. it. Yes. Thank you very much. So to some, maybe worth summarizing the main global, there are two main global communication channels. Uh, channel, the main one being the discourse one, secondary being Gitter. Okay. There is the Slack channel for, as you mentioned, for the mentors and the mailing list for admins. So these are uh, the, the communication channel we should keep. Yep. Okay. And I'll update, I'll update after. Yep. Moving on. Uh, the Jenkins online meetup, uh, yesterday's Bully session was quite successful. I myself can, can use some improvement with more doing more of these, but I thought his topic was really interesting. We did get really good feedback from from the audience. Um, so yeah, I yeah I would love to do more of these in the near future. Um, the next one that we have is GSOC 2022 discussion, and I uh, will work on us getting. Yes, Jean-Marc. Yeah, sorry to interrupt you. Uh, feedback on yesterday's session, maybe something we need to think. Was the format uh, adequate or are there things to improve of how we worked uh, yesterday, meaning with panel that would uh, uh, that were serving as sounding boards for the questions? Was that enough? Uh, I think yes, and, and we, were, we were already plenty busy answering the channels, monitoring them. So I, I, the, the format is, in my opinion, a good format to, uh, to continue. So that worked well. And the other uh, point was that I think we had a good um, uh, audience. I think we were running around 50 attendees mm -hmm. with 150 that registered, so which is a good ratio. And well, I, I believe that 50 were good. Yeah. So I, I didn't look at the sheet that you sent, Mark, with, with the variation of the audience, but it makes 
a lot like uh, TV shows that monitor their audience to know when so, they need to so put the publicity. Do you agree I was with quite a, wholeheartedly agree. In fact, the participation rate, the participation percentage was higher than I remember it typically being. Getting a 30%, 30, 30 to 33% participation rate um, is unexpectedly high. I'm accustomed to more like 20% and sometimes as low as 10% participation rate. Agreed, yeah. So, so the fact that we got, and what I had seen was 141 registered and we had 55 or 56 at our peak. So we were, we were well beyond one third participation rate. Mm -hmm. Which is good. Meaning that uh, something we need to reflect once we have our first uh, flow of presentation is, is there appetite for uh, a developer or contributor oriented uh, um, uh, meetups or uh, so was, is a subject balance something we need to work on and look at uh, uh, subjects in that, uh, in that field? Yeah, so I agree. Topics, topics is a, good, is a good, good question and it's a very valid question to ask. I was going to go look at, for instance, the, the example I have of a tutorial video is Darren Pope's part one of modernizing Jenkins, and it's got seven over 700 views right now oh, on nice. YouTube. So, so the recording shows hints at some interest in the topic. Okay, good. So, so we can, I, I can, or other can start thinking on on topics in in that domain to to leverage also the the videos that Darren and you do. I, I think so. I think those. Those kinds of topics seem to be interesting to people, and and so that's a good sign. Good. So let's reflect on that. Okay. Sorry to have interrupted your flow, Elisa, but I nice. wanted to, to take uh, uh, some time to do a debrief on on that session. I had fun with it, so and I learned a couple of things. All right, so um, GSOC 2022, uh, I will be working on setting a date for our next Jenkins Online Meetup to discuss about this. So more to come on this uh, via either discourse or uh, mailing list. Oh, and Alyssa, you remind me, we've got one additional topic that we're that's not on our list, a top level topic after we finish with Jenkins Online Meetups and it's GSOC office hours. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. And if you just put it on the list, we can talk to it when we get there. Uh, we can talk about it now. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's great. So it's it's not really a Jenkins online meetup. What office hours are is an opportunity for um, contributor candidates to have a chance to ask any question they'd like to one or more people who are hosting the office hours and can answer their questions. Uh, it's been, go ahead. Oh, I, I just wanted to rephrase what I understood. So it's just a point where at least one per knowledgeable pe person is present and where we, we discuss any question that can arise. So it's not really a focused meeting with an agenda or... Correct. What's exactly. And in fact, okay. it, it only, it, it happens only if there's interest and we move its times as necessary based on what, what the interest is. So some, sometimes it's been, there was no one, no one attending except the one person who, who was ready to answer questions and 10 minutes into the meeting, they canceled it, said, we're done. We don't have to do this. Uh, and other times there've been three or four people who would join and then it was very important that we had the conversation guiding the, the candidates on how to prepare an effective, effective proposal. Right, especially that we're now getting slowly into the period where guidance will be useful. Right, exactly. Okay, we thought of using this meeting here for that, but this is more for steering. 
the GSOC, uh, the office hour, now I understand much better the purpose of it is more information. Yeah, well, and, and here in this session, we talk about administrative and guidance, whereas in the office hours, exactly what you said, we are focused on how to help individual applicants as they prepare their, their submission. Okay, loud and clear. And there we need to be aware of time zones. So the time frame for this to happen is around when, Mark? Is it like right before um, the, the, the contributors' applications? Well, we, or... should, we should probably get it started as soon as we can because yeah. we, want, we, want good, we want good contributions. And that usually means we need to encourage people to come ask us questions so we can help them make a good contribution. So as soon as we can reasonably do it, uh, in past years, it was commonly running already in January. Okay. okay. So All we right. better get, okay. And now I understand much better the purpose of everything. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I will, we'll, we'll work on that. Um, going back. So Mark, you have these action items. And I still have them. I'll get I'll get on them very promptly. I got to get I'll get the the initial materials sent out this week. So before end of day tomorrow, I'll send it out. Okay. All right. And then um, if you can include me, I'll follow up with the rest, and I'll make sure we get things on the agenda on the schedule and start planning for it. Great. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. And you're yeah, and you're allowed to chase Mark. <laughs> If you don't hear anything by tomorrow evening. Absolutely. And, and Alyssa, I was outside shoveling some of that white frozen liquid just minutes ago. So we can also have conversations about that if necessary. <laughs> yeah, I was, we can. I was teasing Alyssa yesterday or a day, a day or two ago about, about snow because yeah. where she lives, they don't actually have it. <laughs> so it's just theoretical. Exactly. It's yeah. just a theoretical experience there. <laughs> All right. Okay. So I think that's it for today. Yeah. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Go All right. Bye. Okay, good.